What's going on there guys? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is Mac Madness Monday. And today we have an application called Text Expander. Now this bad boy is going to run you 34 night no. Uh, yeah, 34.99. And uh, when I initially installed this, I never had intentions of buying it. I did install the trial and ran the trial for I think it was the 14 days. I don't remember how many to, but essentially I became addicted to this application and um, I actually uninstalled it because I thought, you know, that's cool, but I don't really use it that much and I can't really justify spending $35 for it. I had it uninstalled for two hours and I thought, crap, I cannot live without Text Expander. It seriously changes the way you use keyboard entry on your Mac and it is absolutely magnificent, well worth the $35 and I'm going to kind of tell you what it's about. So as you can see here, I have short codes. So here's uh, my PO box right here. And uh, it, this is, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time to type out, but it's kind of annoying. And, you know, I have it pasted in notational velocity and historically I'd go in, open notational velocity, copy it to the clipboard and then paste it. But what text expander allows you to do is create a keyword. In this case, it's P Addy for post office address. Uh, my house is H Addy for home address. And then, um, I have my signature for uh, Siggy for my signature, which is really complex, which we'll get to in a minute. But, um, you know, post office address, it took it takes a little while to type out. And now all I have to do is type Patty and that will be inserted into that text field. Format it exactly as I want it. I can choose alignment and it, um, it like let's say you're typing in Word and you have center alignment. But right now I've defined this as left alignment. So even though I'm typing in center alignment, this will left align. So there's it's really powerful. I mean, Text Expander 3 is absolutely marvelous. But I'm going to just kind of show you the basics. I can't go into everything because it will take hours because there are tons and tons of really awesome features. But let's open uh, text edit real quick here. Uh, right here, again, I could type this out. Again, I mean, I'm uh, I'm not while I'm talking, but I, I'm a pretty fast typer. However, um, that was actually really slow typing. I'm much faster than that. But, um, you know, it does take some time. Now, in this case, since I have the hotkey configured, Patty, um, all text expander has to do is be open. This window can be closed or whatever, but I type P-A-D-D-Y, and boom. That address goes straight into that field. Now, if you guys remember, my signature was Siggy. So I type S-I-G-G-Y and boom, that is set and ready to go. So it has an image that is uh, my signature that I use the application autograph from 10.1 Design to uh, create this image. And then I have also the That Snazzy iPhone Guy logo here. Uh, it acts as any image would. Uh, you can format it to your liking, but uh, it comes pre-formatted with uh, Text Expander. And it's absolutely incredible. So I'm going to open this app one more time to show you a couple more cool things. Uh, one of the great things is it comes with an external package from Tidbits. Tidbits is an excellent tech website if you haven't visited it before. But uh, what they've done is they've created an open source package for uh, Text Expander that allows you, uh, the, well, that really just um, fixes a lot of typos that we see in uh, tons, uh, thousands of typos in this list that uh, happen to pretty much everyone. And so let's say I typed included, but I typed I-N-C-L-D-U-D. It fixes that automatically. It's not going to be like spell check where it says, hey, this is wrong. But if it's in this dictionary, it goes, okay, you typed included wrong. And then it automatically fixes it without bugging you, without making you do spell check. And there are literally thousands of words. You can misspell almost any word and it will be fixed by this tidbits autocorrect. So that's one thing that's really excellent. And then again, you have these features again. So we've created time here. All I have to do is type tea time. And the exact time is entered. Now let's say I want the date. So I can type a new snippet. I go into this field and say, okay, this is going to be a date. First, I want the month and it's going to be fully written out. Okay. I'm going to do a space and then I'm going to do the date again. I'm going to do the, um, the day of the month. And I like the O1 format. And then I'm going to place a comma and another space. And now I'm going to type the year. And then I'm going to make this abbreviation D-date. So now whenever I type D-date, it writes out the date. Really cool. Really freaking cool. Um, so Text Expander, again, is something that doesn't really seem like it's all that important when you first install it. But once you uninstall it, once you've used it for a few days, you will not go back. It's a lifesaver. I absolutely love it. The Tidbits Autocorrect Dictionary is absolutely marvelous. And this is an application I couldn't recommend more highly. Super stable, super low CPU consuming, absolutely flawless. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Hopefully you enjoyed Mac Madness Monday. Let me know in the comments below what future apps you would like reviewed. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.